This is Matt Fish with the Matt Fish Realty Group, and today I want to talk about house flipping TV shows and how they compare to real life. House flipping shows. We've all seen them. You're flipping through the, uh, the channels and you come across one and 30 minutes into watching it you see uh, someone makes $60,000 and you think, hey, I could do that. And chances are you probably could. But it's going to be a little bit different than uh, how it went on the TV show. Of course, everything on TV uh, is made for TV, so there's a little bit of truth to it, but uh, quite a bit of it is kind of made up just to make the show interesting. Uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot when people find out that I flip houses is kind of how does it compare? Is it anything like TV shows? Uh, because that's really their only point of reference. And uh, it's different. It is different in a lot of ways. Uh, the, the first being the timeline. So on TV, they buy a house and uh, then, then they go to commercial break, they come back from the commercial break and the house is already halfway renovated. And then uh, they spin the screen a couple times and they flash up three weeks later and the house is done. And you think, oh wow, four weeks five weeks at the most, and they just made, you know, 50 or 60 or $70,000. Uh, so, how does it compare to real life? All right, so if you've never done a flip before, or if you've only done a couple, chances are three or four weeks in, you're finalizing contractor bids, and you haven't even started. Uh, so, the timeline is going to run a lot longer than uh, it does on TV. And... Uh, even after you get it on the market, of course, then you have to market the property. And then after you get it under contract, uh, you need you know, 30 or 45 days uh, for it to go to closing. So uh, it, it's not just a, a three or four week process for most people. Uh, one of the other ways that it's different is the renovation itself. Uh, the, the renovations on TV generally go pretty smoothly. Uh, one of the ones that drives me crazy is flip or flop. Uh, you'll see Tark, he'll freak out because uh, they bought the wrong shade of yellow paint and they have to repaint a bedroom. And he's like, $200, now this is gonna be a flop. Uh, yeah, so if you're doing a flip and the wrong shade of yellow paint happens to be your biggest problem, then it's been a pretty fantastic flip uh, so far. So the things in real life you need to watch out for and be worried about are uh, the last person to live in the house before the bank kicked them out and foreclosed, uh, did they pour cement down the drains? Did they punch holes in your plumbing? Uh, did they break the heater? Uh, do you have three uh, layers of shingles on your roof uh, when code only allows you to have two and you weren't planning on doing anything on your roof and now you have to tear off the whole thing? Uh, do you have aluminum wiring? Do you have polybutylene piping? These are big things that can come up uh, that can break your budget uh, that you actually have to look out for. And um, so make sure you budget for stuff that you didn't anticipate because uh, stuff like that does actually come up. Uh, one of the other things is the sales price. And I hate to pick on flip or flop again, but inevitably at the end of every episode, uh, three new magical comps come up and they'll say, well, we were gonna list for 500, but now with these new comps, we can list for 750,000. And you're thinking, where are these comps coming from? Uh, in real life, that doesn't really happen. I mean, unless you're in Southern California, it certainly doesn't happen here in Delaware or Pennsylvania, uh, where you can just increase your sales price magically in a month by 30%. And also in the real world, there are things called bank appraisals where if the buyer is getting a mortgage, the bank's not gonna lend uh, on, a, on a, a property at 750,000 if the rest of the houses in the neighborhood are worth 500,000. Uh, they're just not gonna appraise the property, the buyer's not gonna get the mortgage, so unless you have a cash buyer, uh, you have to worry about the appraisal. So unlike TV, uh, you don't see those kind of numbers. Uh, also, you, you don't see where they say, you know, we were gonna list for 500, but we're gonna be aggressive and list for 550,000. Well, that's not really aggressive, that's kind of just stupid. If the market's at 500, 
and you better list it at 500 or you're not going to get anybody showing or buying your house and now you're wasting even more time. Uh, so uh, definitely the, the sales price and the time on market, that's different than uh, the, uh, the TV shows would have you think. Uh, the last one and, and probably the biggest one are the costs associated with flipping a house. Uh, you, generally they just give you the purchase price, the renovation cost. Every once in a while some of the shows will give you some closing costs and then they'll give you the final sales price and then they'll, they'll reveal how much profit they made. Uh, but rarely do they, do they include all the closing costs. Uh, so when you're flipping, you got to remember you're buying, so you pay closing costs, and then you're selling and you pay closing costs again. So there's two sets of closing costs. Uh, there's your holding costs. There's utilities, there's insurance, there's taxes, there's permits, inspections, uh, and that doesn't even include your financing. So if you're borrowing money from a friend or family member or a bank uh, or a hard money lender, your, your financing costs can be as high as you know three, four points up front or on the back end, uh, plus 15% or 20% uh, for the money itself. So. Uh, the financing costs can be can be pretty high, and those kind of things are, are never covered in the uh, the flipping shows. Uh, I once talked to somebody who who wanted to get into flipping, and they said, uh, if I could just make five thousand dollars on a flip, I would do three or four of them a year, and that would be great supplemental income. If you're going into a flip thinking you're only going to make five thousand dollars, you just lost a ton of money because there's there's a, a lot of costs. And uh, you can run over on your renovation, you can run over on your timeline, uh, and that will, will kill you. So uh, here's how the numbers usually break down, and I hope you can see this on the video, uh, on the TV numbers that is. Uh, purchase price, 200000 renovation, 30000 uh, resale is 250000 so we'll make $20,000 profit. And that's generally uh, what most people think because again, their, their only frame of reference is the television shows. So uh, when I talk to new investors who are just getting into it and, and want me to help them find a flip, this is how they're basing their numbers. Well, there's a lot more costs associated. So in reality, this is kind of how it breaks down. Uh, the purchase price, same house, 200,000. They forgot to factor in the $5,000 of closing costs when they bought the property. Uh, they budgeted $30,000 for the renovation, but Every renovation pretty much always goes over budget because things come up that you didn't foresee. Uh, so that $30,000 renovation budget turned into a very realistic $40,000 renovation budget. Uh, it cost you $5,000 to hold it, taxes, insurance, all those types of things, utilities. Uh, and again, this, this doesn't even include your financing. So if you're paying points and interest on top of it, it your holding costs are going to be a lot more. Uh, so that, that brings your all-in cost to $250,000. Uh, you were pretty optimistic on your original resale. You thought it would resale for two fifty because you uh, you didn't work with a professional realtor like myself who could who could help you find out the resale cost. Little plug, and uh, you were even just four percent over, which comes down to ten thousand dollars. So your your resale is two hundred forty thousand. So you're already in the whole ten thousand dollars, and then oh by the way, you have eighteen thousand dollars in closing costs when you sell. So after losing six months of your life, uh, some of your hair, uh, a lot of sleep, oh, by the way, you also lost $28,000. So uh, maybe I'll make a future video on how to analyze a flip uh, just so you can see the numbers in greater detail. This is just a pretty simplistic and high level view. Uh, but I hope you see that the, uh, the flipping in real life versus on TV is is quite a bit different, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, make sure you work with a, an experienced realtor who either knows the area or has flipped themselves, or get a mentor who has uh, who's been doing real estate investing for a while who can help guide you. Because yes, you can make a decent amount of money, but you can also lose a lot of money pretty quickly. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. 